Do what makes you happy. Deep down, you have that dream, but the truth is no one else will chase it for you. And when you overshare it, you lose. A lot of you are doing that. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kate, and I'm sharing ways that I do self-improvement and how I've learned to use the power of manifestation in my personal life and businesses. I've started this channel to inspire you to find your own courage to do more with your life and the time you've got on the planet, young or old. Some of you say you're gonna do something and you don't. Let's talk about why you do this. Are you the queen of oversharing? That was me. Do you get too excited and passionate about the things you want and you want everyone else to feel your excitement too? Why do you overshare a new dream? The first reason is you want to inspire others. You're motivated, so naturally you want to share your plans. It's like showing everyone all your cards in a poker game and then getting mad that you lost all your money. Think of it this way. If you're in a position at your job and you ask a coworker, hey, can you tell me if I'm doing a good job? And the coworker says, yes or no, and helps you. That's cool. But in life, when it comes to your new creative dream or personal goal, that's something only you can really decide. You have to own your standard for yourself and work toward it. Be selective with what you share and with whom. Share just enough so they get the idea, but not the whole thing. People close will have an outdated version of you in their head, and they may have a difficult time accepting the new you that you're stepping into. Remember that old song, Don't Rain On My Parade? That's what people will do and can cause you to quit before you even start, if you give it up too early. When you're working on finding your own purpose, your new dream, a fulfilling goal, it takes a certain amount of soul searching. And that's sacred to each person who has their own God-given talents, interests, and skills. The other problem with sharing too early is that you may have a great idea to share, but you table it for a while, let's say a couple years. And someone else comes along that you might have mentioned it to a couple years ago, and somehow they think of it and they go out and do it, while not even remembering that it was you who had the idea in the first place. But they go and run with it, then you get mad because it was your idea. I have a friend who's also a long-term client that's a great idea person. He has brilliant ideas, and he has shared many of them with me through the years. But never would I repeat or take one of these early ideas and share it with others. And even if I don't understand his whole concept or have the same passion that he might early on, I wouldn't rain on his parade or betray his trust. That's why he's continued sharing some of his new fresh ideas with me and bouncing things around long before they come into fruition because he knows that I'm safe that way. And I know that I'm safe. You should only share your early idea in this type of a situation. And the second reason you overshare is because you want and need connection, of course. You want them to relate to you and what you're doing. This is a normal human basic need. There's nothing wrong with it. And there's nothing wrong with you. It's common to think that if you tell someone about your goal, it might also hold you more accountable. And this can work for things like going to the gym or losing weight, but it's actually not anyone else's job to hold you accountable, except when you have support buddies who are in it with you and you are both holding each other accountable. The job is yours alone to learn how to form new micro habits that lead you to achieving your goal and not rely on others. When you expect them to relate to you and being accountable, you're putting your in energy of having to prove something to others. And then once you say it out loud to them, it's like, oh crap, now I have to deliver on what I just said. And so you get to work with that energy in mind and this can stifle your creativity and can cause undue pressure on you that you actually placed on yourself through this action. It's better to wait. You might say, aren't you oversharing on your podcast and on social media by doing what you're doing? And what I can say to that is that what I'm sharing are things about my own self-development journey that I've actually accomplished, my own shadow work, and the vast amount of healing modalities I've been involved in for over 40 years, mindfulness and meditation, as well as my own private inner work that I do on a regular basis to become a better person. And the fact that I live life as an inspired, passionate person who believes in dreams and goals. I practice what I preach and I'm telling you also where I've failed. And the third way that you're oversharing is you want people to believe in you and you want people to validate you. You want them to tell you that your idea is a great one before you waste your time and money. Maybe they know better than you, right? But it's really no one else's job to believe in you or me. That's my job and yours. 
And it's your job to do your own research, to take courses, to learn, to figure it out on your own, expand your own knowledge about your goal or dream, all on your own. That's not someone else's job. You have to do the hard work it takes to do your dream. When you're in the beginning stages like this, you're still trying to figure out what the full picture is. If you let go too early, you don't know yet if your passion is really in it for the long haul before you share it widely. Young people have been trained to overshare and be competitive on social media, and society has trained them to seek external validation through likes and shares and popularity on socials. It's your job to filter out what you share and what you don't. We have to be realistic and know that not everyone is going to understand where you're coming from. And that's okay because that's the way it is. It's up to you to understand yourself and your intentions, both on the internet and in real life. The takeaway today is not to stop, to keep going with your idea or your dream and see it all the way through. You won't know if it'll succeed or fail until you simply do it. The only thing standing in the way of you getting what you want in life is inaction. Let it go and understand that failure is possible. Life is an experiment with a blank slate for you to design it, create it, and become what you came here to do on this planet at this particular time. People are waiting for you to bring your gifts to the world in some form that makes you smile, a form that makes you happy. So get to it. Go make yourself happy. That's what will make other people happy. That's all I have to say for today. This has been the Wilder Talk Show, and I'm your host, Kate Wilder. Until next time.